Praise be Jesus Christ. I have a cute guardian angel story for you today from the life of Saint Gemma Galgani. She's the wonderful mystic who died in 1903 at the age of 25. And it says that she saw and conversed almost continuously with her guardian angel. And she would uh, sometimes have prayer times with her guardian angel. It says, as a rule during those intimate meetings, a considerable time was spent in praying together and offering praise to the Most High. And this is with her guardian angel. And it says, and this is the point that I just find delightful. If they were reciting vocal prayers or psalms, they did so alternately. And what uh, the author means by that is sometimes when we pray, say two people together, you alternate back and forth. The one person says the first half of the Our Father, and then the other person says the second half. And same thing with the Hail Mary or the Glory Be, or when we pray the Psalms, the one person says, God, come to my assistance. The other person says, Lord, make haste to help me. And then you alternate back and forth with the stanzas. And I just never thought of praying that way with your guardian angel. Now, obviously, you, you would have to have that special grace that Saint Gemma had of being able to see and converse with her guardian angel. Uh, but what's beautiful about the story is it reminds us that in prayer, God doesn't only receive our prayers. He's not only attentive to our prayers, but he assists us in our prayers. And that's why when we begin when praying the Liturgy of the Hours, for example, we typically begin with the words, God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. So God assisting us and helping us in our prayer. And I'll, I'll do my scripture for today uh, right now. Psalm 70 says, O oh God, make haste to my rescue, Lord, come to my aid. And so this is an example of scripture uh, where we get this from. And we also find this in the life of St. Catherine of Siena. Her it was with the Lord Jesus, who would sometimes appear to her and converse with her as a friend. And she, it says, she shyly confessed to me, this is the um, blessed Raymond writing about her. He was her spiritual director. She shyly confessed to me that they, she and Jesus, would say the Psalms together, walking up and down the little room like two religious brothers saying their office. So again, there's another cute story of praying, uh, not only to the Lord, you know, but with the assistance of the Lord. And when we're talking about the assistance of our guardian angels, our guardian angel is assisting us at the authority of God, under the command of God. And so when we experience the love and the care and the assistance of our guardian angel, we're experiencing the love and care of the assistance of God the Father. It's the Father's care, love and assistance that we're experiencing through our guardian angel. So when you pray, ask God to come to your assistance. And when you pray, know that your guardian angel is praying with you. Viva Cristore!